The plants are not passive. In addition to the plant's structural defenses that have barriers that try to prevent aggressors, they are also capable of detecting when there is a potential aggressor or an attacker and responding accordingly to the type of danger perceived. The attack effects are different depending on if it's a nematode reaching the root, an insect that is going to bite the leaves, a sucker, a fungus, or even bacteria that will cause necrosis, for example. The plant is capable of recognizing these damages and activating a series of compounds that are repellents or toxic compounds. The priming strategy helps to stimulate this defense capability so that they are in a more alert state without having the defenses constantly activated. So they are able to detect possible damage and react to it quickly and more efficiently. With that, avoiding the application of pesticides, for example, we can benefit from the plant's own resources to protect the crops in a more sustainable way. The priming would be a preconditioning of tissues so that when an aggressor comes, the plant is able to respond quicker, more efficiently, and with more intensity to the attack. These defenses will be more effective and the plant becomes more resistant to the danger and damage. To represent what the priming phenomenon would be, let us imagine that this is a plant. How would a plant respond when it detects a possible attack or aggressor? If this were the intensity of the plant's defense mechanisms, when it detects a possible attack of a disease-causing pathogen, a pest insect, or some type of abiotic stress, it would activate a number of defense mechanisms. These defense mechanisms take a little time to activate and begin to be effective, but when they do, it is with a certain intensity. The aggressiveness of the pathogen depends on the importance of the repercussion of the plant's health, possibly causing important losses for the harvest. However, when the plant's defenses have been stimulated by applying an agent that stimulates priming, it produces a small and transient activation of the defense mechanisms when it recognizes that treatment, without having any important metabolic cost and leaving it in a state of alertness. Later, apparently the defense mechanisms return to basal levels, but a number of key regulators remain activated, so that when the attack of a pathogen, insect, or any kind of stress arrives, Activation of the defense mechanisms occurs earlier and in a more intense and forceful way, minimizing the damages caused by the stress, affecting the plant's health to a lesser degree and having less repercussions in the harvest. We have made an in vivo tomato plant trial to see the priming effect. After having treated one of the plants with a gel priming promoter the right of the screen, we have simulated an attack of Botitis cinerea to observe how this technology works against said pest attack. During the time lapse, we can see that the plant treated with the priming gel activator demonstrated resistance the infection caused by the fungus Botrytis cinerea overcame the attack effectively, whereas the other plant not treated has been severely affected by the pathogen.